Hello! 67 Bruh. days to go to due date? It's like a blinking and it's all going by. I know! Like what? 67 days till we have another little one? Oh. Or, or less? Or more! Lila Probably was not late. more. Probably not more. Probably not more. She, after we had this whole talk about hiccups yesterday, she started. had hiccups this morning and it was. She texted me. So it was so cute. cute. I was working, I was kind of laying on my side trying to find a comfortable position. All of a sudden I felt a little like boop. And I thought, oh, oh, she must not be comfortable. So I went to move again. And then I felt boop, boop, boop. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's like me. <laughs> it lasted for a few minutes and it was adorable. Adorable and exactly how I remembered it feeling with Lila. These actually were slightly stronger. They were a little more, each one had a little more of a kick to it, but it was. Which is also bigger starting the hiccups than Lila was when she started. That's true, so. size-wise. That's very, very true. But it was, it was just so funny. There's a bigger and body in there reacting. That's true. <laughs> the fact that we talked about it so much yesterday, mm -hmm. that it then happened Happens. this morning, I just thought was perfect. Yeah. How are you? How are you doing? Good. Yeah, I'm working away. Busy day. Got work I got to do. Um, <laughs> talked to one of my coworkers about like how easily she'll end up potty training because she'll just want to be like Lila. Yes, the second is yeah. old, typically because they have the older one to look up to. Up to. Yeah. Lila's doing great, but of course there are some bumps in the middle. Yeah, we have, we have two weeks left learning. before learning. school starts, so we just have to make sure. Two weeks left to pressure. Daytime training is <laughs> good to go by then. It did say we did get the roster for her preschool yesterday, and there were some things in there. It says if your, if your child is still wearing diapers, just make sure to send a huge supply. But at this point, I don't want to go backwards because she's doing yeah. so well. She's doing well. So, you know, we'll pack extra clothes and extra supplies just in and case. And she'll still have accents occasionally. She, she will. I mean, that's just part of that's part of it. Yeah. Um, she does not have Miss Fleischer, who she loves from camp. Yeah. But she does have her other camp teacher, who she adores so much. So, and someone else who I don't know. So we'll do the parent orientation next via week Zoom. via Zoom. And I'll get to meet the teachers. They'll tell us the curriculum and the programs, the do's and don'ts. You know, with COVID, she's not allowed to bring her own backpack to school. Oh, well, okay. She was allowed to bring a backpack to camp, but not And no school. lunchbox. Now she's allowed to bring a lunchbox, lunchbox but, no backpack. but no backpack. They're going to provide a tote uh, that they have oh, okay. to use. So it's going to be... She's going to have a tote. She's going to have a tote. And I will be able to send her little lunches and that cute little... Pinto Lila box. Pinto box thing that I got. So I'll be able to get more creative with, with the lunches, which will be... Don't I'm excited for that. I'm not going to go crazy. Don't. But I, I might get the thing where I can, you know, make cucumber slices little spots or little hearts. That's or little cute. Shapes but or, you know, cute but don't like drive that. yourself crazy. I won't drive myself crazy. But I, I am excited to play around with it. Ovia! Ovia. Uh, Ovia. 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 Daily development. <laughs> Baby Rosenwalk is probably going to gain about half a pound each week until her birthday as she grows. Woo! We have an appointment on Friday. Well, I have an appointment tomorrow at the regular OB. And then Friday, I'm back at the specialist. And she'll be able to come with me yeah. on his birthday, yeah, which will be fun. Right. And we'll see measurements on Friday to see how big she is. Right. So then we can kind of guesstimate what mm -hmm. she might wind up as. Registry checklist. Just what exactly do you need? Swaddles. I'm gonna look at that. Diapers. Yeah. Bassinet. We have that. We have to get out of storage and clean it. Yep. Swaddles, diapers. All the bottle pumping parts. It's just yep. that there are all these little things that we just gotta and make check sure off. we have everything. Make sure we have everything. We're going to have to, which it's complicated now, but I think once Lila's in school, we're just gonna have to figure this out. We need to take several hours and go to the storage unit and actually find everything what we have, uh -huh. get it here. So I can start sorting through it to see what we need to replace versus mm -hmm. what we've got. Because cool. during the move, we did get rid of some things, being like, oh, we'll just replace this when we get a second. But we kept most, but we actually need to get started do over. it now. Recommended immunization schedule for babies first year. I know this is a taboo. What's taboo? Subjects, just immunizations in general. What's taboo We about believe in vaccinate your children and make them healthy. But there are different ways to do it throughout the first year. We didn't want to just be like, here, have everything at one time. But there is a schedule where you break it up. And I think we're yeah. going to follow the same schedule that we did for Lila. Our daughters will have every vaccine that they're medically able to have. Absolutely. There's one, and I have to remind her pediatrician here. She can't have a live virus. There's the one, that one live virus, because I have Crohn's and because I take Humira, which is an immunosuppressant shot, in the first 
round of vaccines. There's normally this one begins with an R. I have it. I have it written down where she cannot because it might affect her might get negatively. Her yeah. Just because she was in my body with the Humera, or you know, is in my body with the Humera. But then she receives that at six months mm -hmm. instead of the first two months. So I have to yep. let her pediatrician know that. But everything else, I think we're going to keep the same. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll be curious with the flu shots this year. So last year, especially because of the pandemic, our doctors set up this thing. We just kind of drive up and go down and we all got our flu shots at the same time. And I'm wondering if they're going to do I'm that sure, again this year. I'm sure year. they'll do something similar just because yeah. they're not going to want to have any more people in there, in there who doesn't the need to be. Yeah. And it's just if they have the staff to do it. Right. And little lady will be so tiny, we need to double check when she's able to get a flu shot because Lila was already old enough to get one when she mm. was a little one that first go around. She's yeah. going to be like weeks old. Yeah. It, it may be like too, it's going to be too soon. So when do you give her a flu vaccine to make sure she's safe? Those sure. are the big questions. Our doctors will tell us. Our doctors will and tell we'll us. listen to our doctors because they're experts. We shall. Speaking of which, with me, uh, it just came out that immunocompromised uh, are eligible for the third shot. They're not even calling it a booster shot. They're calling it a third shot. And me, be it with the Crohn's and pregnant, I fall into that category. So I need to talk to my people and see what they recommend. Mm -hmm. I would ask your doctor tomorrow. I'm going to. That's a I'm good idea. To indeed. Baby Santa. Baby Santa. <laughs> this is just going to get weirder and weirder. Right? <gasps> I love it. That makes me happy. How to feel good about your pregnant body. I feel great. Good job. Cool. <laughs> trimester sleep tips this I need to look more into because I am having a little more not pregnancy insomnia it's not that I'm up all night every night it's harder to sleep. but it's harder to sleep when I'm waking up more frequently it takes the time. and I didn't with her I've always been so afraid to do that because what if Lila needs me and I'm like knocked out I've always been so nervous about that moms what do you do do you ever take sleep aids like that to help you out Probably. when you've got little ones and then it just makes me so nervous because, like, the one night I take it is the night she's gonna need me. Like, it's not, and it, but it's not heavy. It's not, it's not heavy like a Nyquil. Okay. You're literally. That just, makes me it nervous. just kind of like eases you into sleep. It just helps. Yeah. Kind of. Okay, maybe I will ask my doctor about that tomorrow too. I've been taking the pediatric melatonin we got for Lila because she wasn't interested in, it. and it's been delight. Have you really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't know that. Well, you've been sleeping great, so that's. Yeah, that's why. Wow. Hmm. Just a nudge. I like that. Sometimes that's all the body needs. Like when you were on the Pitocin for Lila being born. It's like it was that little sometimes nudge. Sometimes the body just needs and a, just a nudge. Into full labor. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. 67, 67 days, days to go. Baby, like a bolt. To do date, my goodness. Subscribe up here. There should be a ditty around here. Mm -hmm. Hit the like button and click the bell for notifications. And send in those comments and questions. Mwah. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Bye. Bye.